ladies and gentlemen, this is not a grinding wheel. All right, listen closely. You see how thin that thing is? Hopefully you can see that. It's not made for grinding. In my last video, I talked about how people make these things blow up, and it's just absolutely terrible. Uh, these things fly apart and go into people's faces, their fingers, their toes, their bodies, you name it. Don't use it as a grinding wheel. When you're using these specifically for cutting, as they're intended, and often used for feathering out tacks when you're putting in root passes and pieces of pipe or pieces of plate, doing testing and field work. They're intended to go directly into the steel at a 90 degree angle and never lay it back to do any kind of thinning out or smoothing off. Do not use it as a grinding wheel. This thing is already extremely thin. If you make it thinner than it already is, that's when you lose fragments of these blades and or if it puts a crack in this thing and you go to use it and you put it in a bind, it's going to come apart. You can hear your grinder. It will talk to you when you're cutting with a cutting wheel. If you've got good RPM and consistent cutting with consistent pressure, not bogging it down, not twisting it sideways, you'll be able to hear the difference and you do not want to put too much of a load on a cutting wheel. Keep that in mind. Save yourself some fingers, some eyes, some toes, you name it. It can save you.